Tonight, the father of a 17 year old girl shot while walking a dog with a friend is asking for answers as to why this could happen. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Roberts talked with him tonight, just hours after he learned about what happened to his daughter. Alicia. Yuki, good evening to you tonight. Taryn Johnson's father is pleading for justice as his daughter's killer remains on the run. It's my daughter. Like, somebody took her from me. Hours after his 17 year old daughter was murdered in the city's Frankfurt section, Taryn Johnson's father has more questions than answers. I want to know why. I want to know who. Video obtained by CBS3 shows the high school senior following behind her friend who's walking a dog. The pair are heading to a convenience store just after 8 30 Sunday night. Philadelphia police say on their way back, a gray Dodge Challenger appears to trail them. They spotted a vehicle. Right, that was suspicious to them. They felt that they were being followed by this vehicle. Okay, and in fact, they were. A second surveillance video recorded 14 minutes later shows Terran walking along the 5300 block of Horrock Street. The vehicle is stopped at the corner just out of view when a person in a hooded sweatshirt runs across the street and hides behind a white van as Terran walks by. Watch next as the driver pulls up slowly to the end of the block. Moments later, police say the shooter fired at least six shots at Terran. It certainly appears that our decedent was specifically targeted. Officers rushed Taryn to Temple University Hospital where she was pronounced dead. I don't understand it. Now Taryn's father says instead of looking forward to his little girl's graduation next spring, he's left to plan her funeral. She wanted to succeed. Yeah, and then she wanted to do the right thing. And right now, detectives are continuing to review surveillance images from the neighborhood, but they are asking anyone with information about what happened to give them a call. We're live tonight outside police headquarters. Alicia Roberts, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Alicia.